Hello guys and welcome to the StarCraft Amateur Championship. Tonight we have some ZVZ Tonight action. We have some. I can stop the microphone on the stream as well. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, there we go. Excuse me. In the bottom right, our teammate, the purple zerk. Dark Orbit. And on the left, again, our teammate, the Green Zerk, John Creamer. Just a note, I am not well versed in the ZVZ matchup, so expect me to be a little bit baffled by the choices. Nothing as of yet, but we see the first difference between our two players. Dark Orbit decides to go for an expansion while John Creamer opens with a spawning pool and an extractor. Overlords are lurking almost halfway on the map. Ooh, there we go. Guess. Guess and the spawning pool. Okay, okay. I almost thought there that he forgot. Base after the spawning pool for John Creamer. Overlords are seeing each other on the map. Again, this one has a different path. Not be scouted, and this one again will not be scouted. Okay, key moments. We have to see what is the decision. What is Johnny doing? Johnny is going. Is he going for the speed? The speed links. Or is he going to choose a different path with roaches? Or bane links? Two links out and four links out. Or actually on the way for Dark Orbit. These are the scouts. Both players use the speed. Couple of queens. For Dark Orbit, one is already out for John Creamer, and there we go, we have the Bane Link Nest. Dark Orbit is seeing the base, or at least, yes, he's seeing the base, and John Creamer is seeing that we have four, six links, and he saw the tower as well. A little bit of dance in front of the natural, and we have another. Or links for John Creamer heading their way. Okay, Banning Nest is going to be ready soon. Speed, almost done. Another queen for John Creamer. He droned up a little bit, his four workers ahead. I don't know if you're going to do the rush or he's not going to do the rush because he already knows that there is a spine crawler. He's just going to pressure and probably try to contain. Ooh. Four links heavy. What do we have in the production? Another four. Five bane links. Interesting rally point. I don't know if they're going to die on the way. Let, let's see. This is interesting stuff. The queen spits on the hatchery for Dark Orbit. This one, I think this guy can see them if he moves a little bit. Shouldn't be scared. There is no. Nothing that attacks AR at the moment. Nice wall off by Dark Orbit. His game sense is great. A Ling will shoot him away. He's going to kill him. If he gets one, is good. Four links. Okay, okay. One goes down. Not so much value. But one bailing. Okay. Johnny is going. He decides to skip the, the entire army and go straight for the drones. Those drones are hurt. And we have the Link Flood. Is he going to pick them off? One, two, two, three, four. Good. I don't think it's it was a, such a good trade, but okay, Dark Orbit doesn't have an army. He's reinforcing the wall, moving his point crawler. Couple of guesses on the natural for Johnny. What do we have here? We have the gap. Oh, Roach and an evolution chamber. 
Okay, creep spread for Dark Orb. What do we have in the main? Ooh, a lot of Zerglings. He decided that he's going to go pressure on his own now. Again, John Creamer, 10 workers ahead, almost. Things are not looking very well for Dark Orbit. He held off defense. Couple of creep tumors, he's going to spread creep, third base for both players. Relatively at the same time. But this Roach Warren and this Roach Warren, no upgrade yet. We don't have a layer. Again, John Creamer is droning. And what do we have here? Dark Orbit's attack. The links are moving. How oh, I was going to do this, I don't know. There's probably like no one roach dead. Okay, dark orbit lurking. Is he going to kill the base or is he waiting for the base to finish so he can kill it then? Okay, he goes for the cancel. It's close, it's getting closer. We have a cancel four, five roaches for John Creamer. And Dark or Orbit wisely backs off. Third base being retaken by John Creamer. Dark Orbit's links are lurking in the vicinity. A bit of an oversaturation over here. And undermining from the, th uh, from the gas in Dark Orbit's main. And we're going to see a little engagement. A little skirmish. Five roaches against all those links. Maybe not so favorable trade for Dark Orbit. He's going to get another base probably. Uh, I mean, a favorable shit for Junkie because all the roaches got surrounded and they keep trickling one by one. So another roach is going to kick the bucket. There we go. Fourth base for John Creamer. He manages uh, to lose a lot of roaches but expands in the meantime. I mean, this is a brave man. John Creamer has both, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> what is that? Did you see it? Because I know I didn't. There we go. So many roaches for Dark Orbit. And just a handful of roaches for John Creamer. So this is going to be all about a micro, micro engagements. Just a sprinkle of links. And the other links that were camping over here, they decided to try to go for the cancel again. Hatchery, Half Life. Couple of wings try to run by just to get a scout, get a good sense of what is going on. Three spine crawlers, crawlers. This position is unbreakable. But Dark Orbis decides to fight. He's breaking the high ground. Okay, why is it moving away? Because John Creamer had the concave. Now it's the other way around. So this is going to be the dance, ladies and gentlemen. The Roach dance up and down the ramp. Who has more? Who has the better target firing? Dark Orbit, Dark Orbit, he seems to be making it, but the reinforcements of John Creamer, they flank him from behind and we have a great skirmish for John Creamer, he's making the injured roaches into the Ravagers, great defense by John Creamer, but the force was cancelled somehow, this one I missed guys, I'm sorry, this one I missed and now Johnny is on the counter, what do we have on the other side of the map, ooh, Dark Orbit uh, was able to catch up on workers. His creep spread is amazing. He has a couple of queens. He has a lot of roaches. So it's going to come on bile hits. His Johnny's bile hits are going to make damage. Great hit on the tumors. A couple of more ravagers are morphing right in the face of Dark Orbit. He decides no, I'm going to cancel those. And there is a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Johnny has the better concave, both players are on creep and Dark Orbis decides to retreat in the nature. But the first base is exposed and John Creamer is, is wreaking havoc, everything is dying, 8, 10, 11 workers, the bios are coming, ok all they missed. Still a better concave for John Creamer but his units are taking a lot of damage. We have some uh, form of reinforcement for Roaches from the back. Again, a surround. Again, John Creamer was able to surround his opponent for the second time this game. And he has the advantage. We see Roaches trickling in. 
and Dark Orbit is trying to suppress the reinforcements. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ravager's morphing, this catcher will go down. Will go down. There we go. No Ravagers from Dark Orbit. He likes the guess. Yes, he likes the guess. Uh, okay. So, Bios will rain. Missing the tumors. Plus one armor for John Kramer, and his his rally point is right in front of the natural of Dark Orbit. Let's see the upgrades. Was the upgrade situation? Oh, Dark Orbit has plus two weapons, so that's how he was able to manage without any Ravagers. His units just do a lot of damage, but the better concave and the bios and, and the micro. Okay, this is not a favorable position to fight in. Yes, both evolutions are down, so now the pathway is wide open. But Dark Orbit taking out the queens even takes a few bio shots. Better concave for John Creamer. Is he going to close game one? Dark Orbit is fighting with his last breath. Are we going to see it, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, GG! John Creamer is your winner. I have been promoted from uh, Masters to Diamond. This is amazing stuff. Nobody is going to believe, but I have it on stream, you see. So, what was map number two tonight? Alrighty. Let's go. John Kramer took the first game. Is Dark Orbit going to have some kind of a response? Both players are ready, let's go! Game number 2, the map is Nightshade. ZVZ action. Uh, I don't know how you get promoted from Master to Diamond, but uh, while observing another game. But it's all good. Hello and welcome to the StarCraft Amateur Championship tonight. We have a ZVZ action between, in the top left corner, our teammate Dark Orbit. And in the bottom right, we have another good teammate, this is John Creamer, respectively the Green Zerg versus the Purple Zerg. And let me check, this was the, oh, 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 sorry, this was the score. Last time I checked, Johnny took the game one with some good uh, micro, good position fights, so he took the fights well. He was not reckless, he defended his, uh, Dark Orbit's aggression, although Dark, Dark Orbit was able to cancel his uh, third base. John Kramer still managed to do it. And now, what do we have here? Dark Orbit is opening with a pool. And no guesses, no hatches. Okay, he's gearing up for the natural. There we go. On the other side, John Creamer. A little bit of a gas heavy opening, so he's already gathering gas. He's going to go for the speedlings, I think. I think it's uh, right after those links and the queen. His next objective will be to secure his natural. Dark Orbit Overlords uh, passed their way, faced each other in the middle of the map. Look at how late this gas is, guys. Check this out. Dark Orbit's gas was just completed. While on the other hand, John Creamer already has the gas to put the speed on. And he does. So his speed is going to be so much faster than the one of Dark Orbit. 
we gotta check out uh, what uh, his defense is going to be. The speedlings, they're able to maneuver themselves into the main or harass the natural as long as he doesn't go for an engagement before the speed. So he has to know, he sees the hatch, so he actually knows that his speed is so much faster than his. Is he going to go for the cancel? Even amount of links, this is going to be a macro, micro intensive battle. Okay, an overlord. Uh, this is an offering, this is a gift. So Dark Orbit is making offerings to the god of John Creamer. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, okay, micro intensive battle. Couple of more links for Dark Orbit. He senses that his opponent is going link heavy, so this is his response. Uh, he's making his own speed, but the speed of John Creamer is about to kick in, and this is the time where we're going to observe what is his decision making. Is he going to go right in the main, or is he going to try to? He has to bypass the links somehow. I mean, this is his yes, the window of opportunity. He's in the main. Okay, he's taking it. He's in the main. Make sure that this, those links, guys, they don't get out of here. Or do they? Rates around 4, 5, 6. Good damage. And they're out. Great damage by John Creamer. He's exactly 5 workers ahead by killing 6 workers of his opponent. Okay. He's going for the deny. Cancel. Good, and another worker. Okay, this is dangerous now because Dark Orbit speed just kick in. And his links... Ooh, what is that? What is that? A swarm of banings. Every Zergling should be scared. So he's sending one at a time to try to... Oh, no! Ooh. Ooh, what is that? Jesus, I'm jumping! I'm jumping! Man, huge damage. He killed everything. GG! Jesus! That was am amazing. Amazing bailing hits or a miscontrol by Dark Orbit. We, we can never know, but guys, huge explosions. Next map. Checking if the players are ready, both players are left ready. Let's get into game number three. Whoo! Very quick game number two. Uh, John Creamer decided to be decisive. <laughs> he took action and he took Dark Orbit down with a lot of bangings. Everdream is the map. In the top right, we have the purple Zerg who is down two games and needs your support. This is Rubble Partners' own Dark Orbit. And in the bottom left, again, a Rubble Partners guy. This is the guy who is ahead two games, John Creamer. Uh, Johnny decides to be aggressive again, I think. He wants to close the series. The first one was a little bit of a drawn out series, uh, drawn out game, but Johnny was able to close it with good positioning and Ravagers, while Dark Orbit only had Roaches and some Speedlings. Game number two decisive attack by John Creamer. With uh, five bailings or more, it was an amazing connection, huge explosions. Game number three, Dark Orbit and John Creamer, they open, I was going to say exactly the same, but yes, exactly the same, 
with a little bit of a later guess by Dark Orbit. Are we going to see speed links or something else? The map is quite long. Speed links are actually a pretty useful unit. Or map control. Or harassment. Just a couple of uh, drones are, from, are harvesting gas, and on the other side we have three. Pretty pretty small differences between the two players. All have their natural spawning pools are about to finish, and we're going to see queens, couple of zerglings, and uh, probably speed. At least this is the standard tech. Root, okay, there we go, double queen's speed, and on the other side we have summer, yeah, again, probably the same thing, just a little bit of a different timing. Both players exactly mirroring each other. Again, we are going to see an offering by John Krima. The previous game he was a little bit of a supply cap by an overlord dying so he went uh, deep all the way and got punished by a queen this time the speed is uh, relatively at the same time we cannot expect uh, some shenanigans although John Creamer is posturing right outside Dark Orbits is natural the zerglings they're looking for an opening. Dark Orbis decides to put the double Evos as a wall. Also use the Queen in the wall. So the, the space that the links can squeeze in is actually very narrow. Okay, this, this guy is vulnerable, I think. John Kramer on the other side does exactly the same thing. But he's using a Roach Warren inside the wall. While Dark Orbit doesn't even have... Uh, the Roach Warren yet, is he going to rely heavily on Lynx? He's chasing. If you are trying to escape, Dark Orbit, uh, I mean, John Creamer is... Is he? Yes. He's using the Queen. This is a very fortified position, the Lynx will not be able to breach it. We have a couple of Overlords are being hunted down. Transfuse on the Queen. Yeah, this is a very fortified position, so it's going to be very difficult for Dark Orbit to break it. All his links are just dead, and now John Creamer has roaches. Roaches already out, upgrades are queued. Dark Orbit wants to go for the roaches right now. Quite late. Instead, he's making. I think in this position, the creep spread is actually working against Dark Orbit because he doesn't have the meaty units, the roaches. Another overlord uh, went too deep. He's not going to be supply cap, but. Uh, oh, actually, the overlord is not even going to die. But good. Those overlords are keeping tabs. He knows that there is no third, ba third base. And Dark Orbit's third base is ready. So, is he going to be able to defend the 1 1 timing? <sighs> we have an Idas. Guys, we have an Idas. There we go. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty weak as observer, so. But good. We have the Nidas, we have the Roaches. Actually, this may, may backfire for John Creamer. You know why? Because Dark Orbits' roaches are right about to pop. And... Are we defending? What, what, what is Dark Orbit doing? He can use him and he can defend. His Roach Warren is dying and is dead. Good. Are we seeing another Roach Warren? No. Queens are here. Do we have Transfuse, transfuse Energy? Yes. Nice Transfuses. Okay, I think Dark Orbit has enough. The Queens are quite scary. A great utility unit. So, are we going to see another Roach Warren? There we go. 
halfway there. What is going to be John Kramer's response? He doesn't know about this, I think. He doesn't, yes, he doesn't know about the third base. So basically Dark Orbit just has to hold on until the economy kicks in. 10 workers difference. So it's going to be about time. And I think in a minute or two, Dark Orbit is going to be in a great position. But how does he stop the influx of roaches? The Nidus is loaded. And we have the roaches in position for John Creamer. Are the queens going to be enough? I don't think so. This is a huge roach force. Also, plus one plus one is ready. And plus two plus two is ready. Actually, both players have it. The only difference is that uh, John Creamer's roaches have the speed. Good, good. What do we have? Couple of links to take to soak some damage. Okay, Dark Orbit is playing very well. He wants to lure John Creamer in. Is Johnny seeing this? Yes, he sees the creep. He has to know there is a base there. But he's going straight for the jugular. Doesn't want to clear the third base. He wants to kill him right then and there. Is he going to be able to? I don't think so. Queens out of energy. This was the best they could do to sustain those roaches, but the other roaches are actually coming out. Still, 20 army supply difference. Another Nidus in the main. Ooh, a brave move. And he lose a couple of roaches. Is this going to be the end? This was quite a move out for Dark Orbit. He overstepped, overextended, and he got punished. So John Creamer took the position and now he kills everything. Again, Anidas in the main. Huge damage. Bas. Okay, son. I know. I know. Exactly that. Nope. But a GG nevertheless. You know. Game number three goes again to Creamer. GG. Let's check game number, uh, what the f map number four. There we go. Both players are ready, and we are jumping right into game number 4. As you can see guys, both players are teammates, my teammates as well, Robo Partners is the clan, Zerg is the plan. For this game, spawning in the bottom right corner, it is the purple Zerg Dark Orbit. He's down three games, guys. He really needs your support, but anyway, the winner. Everybody loves the winner. This is Robo Partons' own John Creamer. He's playing a solid ZVZ thus far. That's why he is actually three games ahead. There we go. Dark Orbit, the, the games were close. I mean, Dark Orbit is rusty. He hasn't played the new maps at all. I mean, he's winging it. So, and without any practice, he's that close. So, huge potential for him. If he has the time to invest, I think he has a good grasp of the game. It's all just uh, rusty mechanics and... Uh, is a little bit slow on the reaction times, but it's all good. It's all good. Everybody's learning. You can improve in this game. I'm sure if if you practice, you can improve.
let's see now a hatchery for Dark Orbit and one is missing for John Creamer. Uh, the spawning pool is late a little bit for Dark Orbit. Ooh, double gas. What do we have here, guys? This is some cheeky, cheeky play by John Creamer. Does he want to finish quick? The game number four. Interesting. One base. What is going to be that? Uh, Lair right after the Queen. Some some form of a one base Nidus with links. I don't know. I don't know. But it's uh, going to be interesting to see. Base ready for Dark Orbit. Overlords are spreading. He's not going to scout it because he knows there is going to be a queen that is killing the Overlord. So basically, he's safe. We have some links right out for Dark Orbit. And no links out for John Creamer. This is a brave, brave, brave move. I mean, he has to go and check what's going on, but he was pressured so heavily the past three games, so he he's he's right to be worried. What is what what is the John Creamers' plan? I, I mean, he's not making anything, like a no no army at all. He's over droning, doesn't make an army. Uh, is getting supply blocked as well. I don't know, guys. I, I do not un understand. Okay, he's going to wall off with a couple of evolution chambers, and the layer is there. What is <gasps> Hydra there? Interesting. So, one base Hydra discs is the choice for John Creamer. And the Nidus. Okie dokie. I see now what is going on. Of course, you, there is no way you can transport the Hydras on this map. They're so slow initially and even without creep. They're terrible at movement, but they're good at killing. One base lurker. Okay, Scorpion says in the chat. One base lurker is the... Oh, oh there we go. Nice. Already, John Cream, I mean Dark Orbit. Roaches are ready, Overlords are spreading. Is he going to be able to react in time? The Nidus? I don't know. This is deadly. This is deadly. He will try to kill the Queen. Maybe he also hit this guy here. Couple of Queens now. Oh, but uh, they, they came through. <gasps> and they're taking damage. The Queens are dead. Guys, the queens are dead. Are those links going to go straight for the workers? Of course. Now he sees everything. What? 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 Just kill him. Two hydras, man. Two hydras, man. No. You don't want to kill the two hydras? Okay. He steals a drone. And that's it. Aggression is gone. Are we going to see the nidus? I mean, we are, as soon as the lurkers are ready. We're going to see the Nidus. And yes, Nidus. Lurkers are almost done. A Hydra. Yes, a Hydra. One. One is enough, guys. You don't need more Hydras. When you have two Lurkers, one Hydra is enough. Ooh, there we go. And we have the Lair almost ready. So he has to buy time. He has to prevent the Lurkers from taking a better position. But he doesn't have a unit. Oh, th there we go. He has units. He has to stop the Nidus because he doesn't have this guy. Hey, it's very well. He doesn't take any damage. I mean, it's great, great, great work from Dark Orbit thus far. He's taking the Lurker. He's taking the Hydra. He's taking the other Lurker. Man, the Lurkers do so much damage. <gasps> this guy. This guy. Did you see him? He snuck out. Sneaky, sneaky. And again, a couple of more lurkers are morphing. What do we have on the other side? Just a three worker advantage for Dark Orbit, but uh, mind you, they mine so much faster because of this. Another. Does he see it? Aha, uh -huh, so John Creamer tried that again against Scorpion and actually managed to kill him. The Nidus is ready, but 
Dark Orbit says enough, man. We are going for the base race. No lurkers at home to defend. And we have a handful of roaches. Okay, okay, he's, he's backing up. He can leave some links, you know, to kill everything, but he decides to back up. Ooh, actually, I like this position for Dark Orbit because he knows. He knows there are lurkers. He has the Overseer, he got he gets uh, Johnny's natural cancelled. Yeah, he, he cannot attack directly into that. Probably make some Ravagers. Ravagers can hit those guys, no problem. Man, I don't think you should go... Oh, oh, did you see the micro, guys? Amazing micro, amazing micro. He lured the lurkers as shots away from the bulk of the roach army and he's in. But is this going to be enough? He has to focus fire very well. Couple of hydras. They don't have much life, but they do a lot of damage. Yeah, this is going to be enough, I think. John Creamer will hold. Oh, the Hydra, and he must not lose it. Oh, painful, painful. There is no way you can make a Lurker without a Hydra, so... Yeah, this is... Uh, good work by Dark Orbit. He's uh, 10 workers ahead, almost. 11 roaches in production, and 24 links in production. I mean, this is huge, guys. This is huge. Uh, John Creamer needs... Perfect Lurker focus fire. And he, he needs to trap them somewhere in, on the ramp. But did you see the previous move by... Ooh, 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 he's going to kill the... Oh, amazing, amazing. The game is... The game is on. Still, there is a Nidus in the main. So Dark Orbit is forced to move all his units... Oh, not all his units. He has some links right here. And he's waiting. Oh, amazing counter-attack. I like it very much. So he will snipe the lurkers while this is going to counter. Or when is this going to counter? N right about now. He sees there is no natural. Do we have lurkers? We don't. <gasps> no lurkers or maybe... No lurkers. Okay, okay, Dark Orbit with the cheeky play. There we go, there we go. Good game, good game. Amazing game number four. So Dark Orbit takes one map. At least a consolation win, I think. But uh, he improved. During the series, he actually improved. He adapted very well, and he was able to execute the counters. Yeah, th this was uh, Dark Orbit's game, guys. So Scorpion also was able to counter Creamer the, when he did the same build. Yeah, he needs work. Hey, thank you very much for watching this. Uh, those games, guys. This was the StarCraft II Amateur Championship. I wish you well, and I will be seeing you again later.